Hey everyone, this is Sid, back with another video and this is the continuation of offensive hacking and exploitation. In this video, we will take a different application which is Minishare and recreate the exploit. Okay, let's jump to our demo section and create the exploit. Here we are in our demo machine. Let's assign the IP address. Okay, let's get back to our victim machine. Check the connectivity. Okay, the connection is up. Now, this is the mini shared server. We can drag and drop any file here and we can access it from the network here is the important document from the victim machine okay now let's create the exploit now miniature server is vulnerable to buffer over for vulnerability and the vulnerability resides on the URL itself okay Okay, let's create the exploit. <laughs> Import the socket module. I net connect to the victim machine we need to give the IP address and port number in tuple one nine two one six eight dot four three dot two two seven and port number is eighty. Let's create our buffer. We need to send get request first. After that, send a very long input. Let's say 4000 of A's. And after that, delimiters. One. And slash r plus n sorry for that then need to be a add sign now let's send the buffer and close the connection Let's create the exploit executable. Okay, the server is running. Let's send the exploit. Let's get back to our victim machine and you can see the server crashed ok let's inspect it with immunity debugger run 
run the server. Let's send the exploit again. And the crash happened again and EIP overwrite with all A's. Like previous video we need to send a pattern to find the offset. We will create it with pattern.rb script. We need it 4000 of it. and the pattern is generated let's copy it let's open the exploit script remove all A's paste it here save it let's go to the victim machine and restart the server send the exploit and the crash happened let's go to the attacker machine now, now we will find the offset using pattern underscore offset script okay let's find out the offset of EIP Thirty six, sixty eight, forty three, six, sixty eight, forty three, and thirty five. Okay, the offset is one seven eight seven. Let's find out the ESP. Forty three, thirty seven, sixty eight, thirty three, thirty seven, sixty eight, and forty three. Okay, as expected, it is after four bytes. Okay, let's confirm it. first 1787 bytes will be our age after that EIP will override and then ESP will pointing to thousand of them 
let's save it okay let's run the server on victim side send the exploit and the crash happened and as expected EIP is overwritten by all B's and after that ESP pointing to all C's now we need to find the all bad characters which might break our shell code ok let's get back to our attacker machine let's create the all possible characters using our program pcare let's copy it get back to our exploit script remove all C's from here now we need to paste all the characters here okay. save it restart the server Now the server is running. Let's send the exploit. Our first character, null byte, is the bad character. Okay, let's write down. Let's remove the null byte from the exploit code. restart the server again let's send the exploit and the crash happened and let's find out the next bad character 09 0c seems like 0d is the second bad character ok let's remove 0d save it run the server again send the exploit And let's find out the next bad character. And 0D is the last bad character. There is no bad character remain because it's ended up with FF. 
this is it for this video in next video we will do the rest of the exploitation if you really like this video give me a thumbs up share among your friends and i really appreciate your comments